There used to be a saying that tax doesn't have to be taxing. Well, it does as far as the general election campaign is concerned. Ed Miliband is promising today that if Labour gets back into power, it will end the so-called non-DOM status. This is used by about 116,000 wealthy individuals across the country to avoid UK tax. But Chancellor George Osborne says the country would actually lose hundreds of millions of pounds as a result. And he says the opposition are just tinkering around the edges because Labour would still let real temporary residents take advantage of the rules. In the battleground of the West Midlands today, Mr Miliband is coming to the key marginal seat of Hales Owen and Rowley Regis. Uh, this was won by the Tories in 2010 by a very beatable majority of 2,023 votes. The Conservatives have Transport Secretary Patrick McLaughlin in Wolverhampton and Walsall as well. Wolverhampton South West is a Tory seat with a very slender majority of 691. Walsall North held by Labour by a wafer-thin 990 votes. So it's no surprise that these are the constituencies where the parties want to send their most valuable assets. If you're in Wolverhampton or Dudley today, you might also spot the West Bromwich East MP Tom Watson, he of the crusade against phone hacking and the Murdoch media empire. A month from now, we'll know which party has won these seats. Whether we know who's running the country is another matter entirely.